Six NHL players who are borderline generational talents. One, Evgeny Malkin. Evgeny Malkin was snubbed from the NHL Top 100 list. Malkin falls into the category of borderline generational talent. Malkin won two Art Ross trophies, one Hart trophy, three Stanley Cups, and a Cosmite trophy in 2009. Gino should be considered a generational talent by the time he is retired. 2. Alex Ovechkin Alex Ovechkin is the best goal scorer in the NHL right now. Some people may disagree, but Ovechkin should be considered a generational talent. The reason being is because once his career is over, he'll be looked at as a first ballot Hall of Famer. 3. Eric Carlson Eric Carlson is a special player. He is a player that can change the outcome of any game he plays. Carlson has a .82 point per game average, which is pretty insane considering he is a defenseman. By the end of his career, Carlson will be known as one of the best offensive defensemen in the game. 4. Carey Price Carey Price is the best goalie in the NHL right now. In terms of just talent, he can be a generational talent. What prevents him from being considered a generational player is the lack of a Stanley Cup. If Carey Price wins a Stanley Cup before his career is over, then perhaps he can be considered a generational player. 5. Patrick Kane Patrick Kane was already named as one of the players on the NHL Top 100 list. He is also one of the greatest winners in the NHL today. Kane took home the Hart, Art Ross, and Ted Lindsay Trophy in the 2015-16 season. Patrick Kane also won three Stanley Cups. This makes Patrick Kane a generational player. 6. Peter Forsberg Peter Forsberg was one of the most unstoppable players in NHL history. The only thing that stopped Forsberg from reaching his potential was injuries. Forsberg had it all. He was physically dominant and had no weakness in his game. Forsberg should be a generational talent because there is never going to be another Peter Forsberg. So those are six NHL players who are borderline generational talents. Next, I'm going to be talking about six NHL players who need to be in the Hall of Fame.